in a previous video, I built this gantry crane to be able to lift off heavier parts of this beautiful old tackle milling machine. And as you can see, it works. And some of you left some comments with safety concerns, which of course I appreciate. So thank you very much for your concern. But there's nothing to worry about. This horizontal pipe is a 50 millimeter pipe. Wall thickness 2.5. This thing isn't going anywhere. As you can see it used to be a swing set with two and a half meter uh, width and now I use a bit less than one meter. The maximum weight I will ever put on this thing will be between somewhere 30 and 40 kilo. That's all. I suppose everyone knows that gas bottles are very heavy. This is the maximum. And as you can see, no problem. When I started to lift the very first time on this machine to take off this part, the slide, I didn't have enough height. The cable was completely in the pulley and I needed 25.4 millimeter more height. So all I did was cut off this pulley again and weld it a little bit higher and now it works like a charm. And to avoid too much rolling around with this thing, because I think the casters are a little bit light, I installed old mower wheels on my table. As you can see, also to me, safety is very important. Even if it looks like shit, it's not dangerous. Right, enough talking gantry crane. Now let's have a look at the up and down system feed mechanism of the deckel. I really took my time to take it all apart to be sure to break nothing. You never know. But I broke two punches and a drill bit. Because in the shafts here the gears are held on with pins. And these pins were really stuck inside so I had to drill them out. But it worked. Let's have a look at this part. This is the top side. In here is the whole mechanism that you can see here in bits and pieces on my table. And this part is covered up with a steel plate. Between two is of course a gasket. This gasket was completely rotten. And I suppose there's some coolant that came in here. And the big problem was rust. So between the teeth of all these parts, everywhere is big parts of junk stuck between. Like, like for example this beautiful double little gear. There is a slotted thing here that makes it move. But because of the rust it didn't move anymore. It moved in one direction a little bit but not in the other one. The shaft and some of the gears look a little bit as if they were overheated. What doesn't make any sense at all because these are very slow moving parts. So I'm gonna spend some time cleaning all these uh, parts and all these bits and pieces with 
UN I think you had enough footage of Belgian dude doing the dishes. Of course, no one wants to watch this, so I cleaned all this off camera. Let's see if I'm able to put it all back together again. That would be something. I just finished 
the whole assembly and it seems to work just fine. All it needs is this cover plate and between two of course it needs a gasket. I have to make a new one. Today I went to the gasket paper store but they ran out of so there is no. So I'm gonna use the last year calendar. Well, uh, the back side of course. Time to have some lifting fun. Before I continue assembling the whole thing, maybe it could be interesting to know if it works or not.
feeding down works. Feeding up didn't work. Let's check. It looks promising. A bit more speed. Looks good. Let's continue. I think this will be it for this video. I don't really see the point of showing how to put on the back again this uh, table. It's a bit pointless. And if you're wondering and what happens to the beautiful brand new little bolt I made last week, here it is. I had to cut it off because for I don't know what reason the give in here in the bottom was stuck. The only way to get it out was cut out the bolt and then hammer it out very carefully. That worked. So for the moment it's back the old one. But I will make a new one off camera and of course for next week 